Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the weight of hope, Goku and his Doken Awakening from the Turles event. I know it's a little bit late in the game, but I did want to make sure I covered it before we moved on too far from where we are at right now. Before I start, I want to say thank you all for subscribing so far. You've all been real awesome. I know I've said this in my, in my video earlier this morning as well, but you guys have really shown a noticeable improvement. I've seen a lot of people coming to my channel, checking it out and liking it. Uh, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to help show your support of the channel so I can continue to grow. Uh, Weight of the Hope Goku. Leader abilities, intelligence type enemy, attack and defense minus 40%. This guy alone is just a phenomenal unit because of that leader ability. It's so freaking OP that you could literally go on to intelligence type events and they'll do almost no damage to you whatsoever and you will inflict a ridiculous amount of damage. This, this team actually, this guy actually also warrants um, you to have a really, really good super battle road team if you have a double leader. Um, really good unit. Unfortunately, he was extreme damage. He was very old school. Now, mind you, remember, this is an SSR with extreme damage. That's how old this guy is. <clears throat> His passive skill was a nuker passive. Um, he does now token awaken um, with 35 of the Turles medals. Before that, by the way, he did have a 12 key multiplier, 135%, which was, oh my god, so low. Um, you could also increase the super attack before we go on as well. Uh, with From the Desired Battle Goku. Uh, this is from the Universe Survival Saga. So go ahead over here, get Z Awakened if you want to, and you can increase the super attack up to super attack level 10. Highly recommend doing that before you go and um, get him Doken Awakened. Uh, just because you want that at super attack 10, he's a really awesome unit. Um, I think, what does he do? He has bubbles as well, so you're not going to be using your Gregories on him. <laughs> I know the struggle. Um, you need 35 medals from here. This is the Destroyer of the Universe event. You're going to have to go over here, bring a decent team, take on this event. AOE for the first round if you can, if you have any good ones like LR Broly. And then intelligence technique and then the last stage i'm going to technique you only have six charges then he becomes agility uh you're going to need to figure out if your intelligence team or your team can take him out before he transforms otherwise you're probably going to want to bring a technique team so you can take out the agility version because he's going to continuously heal himself it will prove hard on the intelligence stage but you can definitely do it um my doken awakens rising to the challenge goku really awesome now phenomenal it's so much better oh i love this card now Intelligence types, uh, ta uh, intelligent type enemies, attack and defense minus 43%, with a double lead that is 86%. 86% debuffs to attack and defense. Super Battle Road ready, this guy is, I'm telling you. He also gets an upgraded uh, super attack finally to supreme damage and greatly lowers the defense of the enemy. Passive skill, energy of the tree of might. Uh, any, a energy of the tree of might. Attack plus 10% and defense plus 20% per key or obtain. Didn't really increase too much, but he does get the defensive buff now, which is nice because that way he will not... Uh, be killed as bad uh, he won't, he'll be able to tank a lot better especially if you're running him alongside a Weirus if you were lucky enough to get the Weirus for the dual uh, key orb manipulation uh, that will definitely come in handy and come into play when you're taking on uh, Super Battle Road or any other mono intelligence event uh, Link skills are Z fighters all in the family in fighter saying warrior race prepare for battle experienced fighters and fierce battle I love how they are getting so many units with experienced fighters now and he's unfortunately only part of the pure category or pure Saiyans category team I mean, I guess you can't really do anything about that, but it's it's awesome. At least he has a category. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 97.56, attack of 79.85, and defense of 43.01. Personally, I would not recommend doing dupe system to him. If you do, crits. I just give him crits if you like him. Uh, max base dupe system is HP 11,756, attack of 99.85, and defense of 63.01. And you can go ahead and take a look at the uh, fully unlocked path if you want to. 12 key multiplier was only unfortunately buffed up to 140%, which was 145%. But because he's a nuker, I guess it's kind of like understandable. Um, in terms of his linking buddies in game, uh, again, this is why it's going to be a shorter video. There's really not that much to talk about here. Uh, you have the Goku over here, the GT Goku, uh, Gohan. Um, I did do this on the JP side, by the way. So if those are you who are wondering uh, why this Gohan showing up, I did it on the JP side uh, just because Pure Saiyans is not available on the global side. Uh, so the new Kaioken Goku is going to be a part of this. Uh, the Doken version of this Goku over here is going to be part of this. Uh, Ultimate Gohan, the future Gohan, and the new Goku. So uh, for this one, for the Goku over here that came along with Pure Saiyan, or the Ultra Power, the full power team, uh, you have uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Sun Family, uh, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle, which is a really nice setup. Yeah, if you think about it, it's a 25% uh, attack buff, 15% defense buff, 2 key and flat out 700, flat out 700 suck. Um, when it comes to the Kaioken, he has 5 link skills with, can you hover, there we go. 
Uh, same thing, it is prepared, or Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Sun Family, Z Warriors this time though. Prepared for battle and fierce battle. Better than experienced fighters because he gets an additional 5% attack buff. So that's 15. So total, that's 30% attack buff instead of 25. With a defense buff, 15%. Uh, Ultimate Gohan, I know he does have Z Warriors. Uh, he also has In Fighter for attack plus 10% up. Sun Family, Z Warrior, and fierce battle. So I think you honestly, I think you could hit off um, everything between. Actually, it's probably it's gonna be very difficult to hit off all of his attack buffs. Uh, from there, because this is what he has so many. Uh, he, is, he needs the in fighter from this Gohan, but he has everything from this one except for uh, experienced fighters. But without experienced fighters, this guy has experienced fighters, but he doesn't have the one that this guy has with Z fighters. Actually, I guess if you have um, this Goku over here and this Gohan, the ultimate Gohan, you'll hit off all of his link skills. Um, the future Gohan over here, Sun Family, uh, experienced fighters, prepared for battle, fierce battle. And then the new Super Saiyan Goku only has four link skills with. Uh, Sun Family, Experienced Fighters, Attitude, uh, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So, uh, not bad. He has some good link linking buddies in-game. All of them are pretty damn powerful. So it's not like you have a lack of characters. It's just that he's really never going to get run um, as often. So it's not like you're going to have a real reason to run him on a team unless you're using him as a leader. At that point, you're probably going to do a physical, uh, physical type team. Uh, we're going to go switch over here and we're going to look at a uh, physical only team. Uh, with TURs, and we're going to drop this down to three Link skills, because he does have a lot with three. Uh, we're going to bring down the Kaioken Goku and the the, uh, the actual future Gohan, so we can look at this. Um, we have the Metal the Metal Korra, Super Saiyan Goku, the LR Goku and Vegeta, we're not going to look at the TUR, uh, and the LR Gohan. So these are three or more for the monophysical team. It can come into play, especially if you're doing uh, an event like Super Battle Road, where you run a double Goku lead, so that way you can uh, debuff the enemy ridiculous amount. In fighter prepared for battle, fierce battle with the uh, Vegito, uh, who is also really good at defending. Uh, the Metacora Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku, uh, battle at uh, our Saiyan Warrior Race uh, Z, Z fighters, and prepared for battle. Then you have the LR Goku and Vegeta over here for uh, Golden Warrior, prepared for battle and fierce battle. The Broly, which is interesting, we're never gonna really run them on the team anymore. Really OG. Uh, <laughs> Uh, battle Ethics Saiyan or Saiyan Warrior Race prepared for Battle Super Fierce Battle. And then this Gohan over here, which also has uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Sun Family, and Z Warrior. So no key links there with him. Um, I think this is the Goku. He has a really high stun chance. Yeah, he has a really high stun chance. So these two together might be very good. But um, outside of that, I mean, you could, the only reason why I'm saying that this one's really good, that the stunner Goku is really good, because the whole point of this team is to uh, debuff the enemy. And what better way to debuff than to make the enemy not attack? So having that Goku there can be very, very viable. Uh, so that way your the enemy cannot attack. Um, but overall, that's everyone in game. We switch over here. There's really nothing uh, in terms of pure Saiyans because everything we already talked about is going to be uh, that we talked about in the last one is on this list. So I mean, we could drop this down to three, but I'm not going over all that. I mean, look at the freaking field right now. I mean, I guess we talked about Broly and the TUR Broly would like already like be part of that. Um, the LR Broly would also be part of that. But I mean, look at everything else that we have over here. Vegeta, Bardock, Super Saiyan, Goku's. Uh, so pretty much he's going to link with any, well, a lot of the Super Saiyan Gokus as you see over here. Um, looks like the only Vegeta, the Nuker Vegeta he links with and the, and the Intelligence Vegeta he links with. Uh, and then you have Turles, uh, Bardock, and, uh, yeah, Turles, Bardock, and Bardock. <laughs> or Mass Saiyan, technically. Um, and a whole bunch of Super Saiyan Gokus. So he does link with a lot of Gokus, but you got to think about it. Most of those are going to be Fierce Battle, Prepared for Battle, and Kamehameha. Uh, Vegeta is probably, yeah, so Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, and uh, Fierce Battle. So that's pretty much everything that you're going to have over there. So on Pure Saiyan's team, he's not going to do bad. He's going to be a pretty damn decent uh, standard linking buddy because he is a Saiyan. Most of those Saiyans are going to have Fierce Battle and Prepared for Battle. So he's definitely going to have um, at least some key and some type of attack buff. But again, if you're really looking to get the most out of him, uh, best linking buddy in game is this new Kaioken Goku. Uh, outside of that, I guess... Um, well, actually, let's go back over here. I forgot. I think there was another one that we had that was a really good buddy. And we'll draw this up to five. Uh, yeah, so it was either the Kaioken Goku or the new full power Goku on the JP side, which hopefully we get on the global side soon. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the new Goku. His Doken Waking is pretty good. Uh, his leader ability does make Super Battle Road for the, the, the extreme intelligence make it a little bit easier. So uh, if you're having some trouble, go find a friend who has a Doken Waken version as well and um, take it on. But yeah, guys, good luck. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.